settling scores. Detained soldiers appear badly injured in this video posted online. In another, the guards offer a few final blows. But it's not just coup plotters targeted. Kamil Uluc was arrested for suspected links to the PKK Kurdish militants. In this Istanbul police station, he alleges barbarity. They said, we will rape your wife in front of you. They beat me and tied weights to my testicles. Then they took me to a dark room and tried to rape me. Maybe I'll forget the other torture, but the sexual one is carved into the dirtiest corner of my heart. We've heard similar claims. This medical report of two other detainees describes injuries to the genitals. With the state of emergency, political opponents are being rounded up. This son of an opposition MP was detained and now bears the scars, including a fractured vertebra. There was non-stop violence, slapping and kicking. If it was just a couple of officers, you might think it's isolated. But it was different police units and they tortured us with confidence. The government ignored our interview requests, but the justice minister tweeted, there's no mistreatment or torture in Turkish prisons. Those who say otherwise are slanderers if they can't prove their claims. The prisons fill up with new arrests as the purge widens. What's happened since the coup has created a climate of fear. Some lawyers, doctors and police who we tried to interview pulled out at the last minute, afraid to speak up. The state of emergency gives the authorities sweeping new powers, but not to torture. That breaks international law. From the shadow of the coup, hidden stories are emerging. Of Victor's justice and revenge. Mark Lowen, BBC News, Istanbul.